What's with the new outfit, Park Ranger Bella? Yeah, you look different. Did you get a haircut? I'm not Park Ranger Bella. I'm Ridley Jones. Famous explorer. I got nothing. Ridley Jones is Bella's favorite new Netflix show. She lives in a museum where all the exhibits come to life. That sounds pretty cool. It is cool. Plus, she's friends with an Egyptian mummy queen, an astronaut chimpanzee, and a skateboarding dinosaur. I don't think dinosaurs skateboard. Maybe it's because they haven't tried. Good point, Park Ranger Maisie. I was thinking we could go visit our local natural history museum and investigate some exhibits, just in case. How are you going to get to the natural history museum? With my passport to adventure. Sounds like fun to me. You want to come with Park Ranger Asher? Yes. Just a few more seconds to excavate something important. There! The granola bar I dropped last week! Ew. You're gonna eat that? No. I'm gonna save it for later. Okay, Park Rangers. Let's go on a natural history museum adventure. Okay, Park Rangers, everybody have what they need? Sure do. Asher? What's wrong? The baby dinos. <laughs> they look so lonely. Can we bring them? Can we? No! You cannot bring three baby dinosaurs into a natural history museum. That is 100% correct. And frankly, I'm surprised you would even ask, Park Ranger. Let's walk this way. Well, here we are, Park Rangers. A very special night at the museum. We could check out the Butterfly Pavilion, the Age of Mammals, the Nature Garden, or the Dinosaur Hall? Yeah. Well, then I believe we walk this way. I'm starting to think you don't like my silly walk joke very much. Uh, no, it's just a... I'm gonna go check my bag. Did you know that Velociraptor means speedy robber? How cool is that? Ooh, and now experts think that predatory dinosaurs sat on their eggs and cared for their young. Because birds are the closest living descendants of dinosaurs. So amazing. So amazing.
Need some help, young man? Who, me? No, just taking a break. What are you, law enforcement or something? I'm a park ranger. Gotcha. Well, thank you for your service. Okay, bye. What's up, Park Ranger? I think we have a problem. Is that our baby T-Rex? Yep. I think somebody owes us an explanation. I can't bring three baby dinos into the museum, so I only brought one because I thought it would make it less lonely. Come, 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 look, look. A baby dino, a juvenile, and a T-Rex. He probably thinks that's his family, a very hungry family. <gasps> that's it! That's what makes the baby dino come back into my bag. Nothing comes between a baby dino and the food. Can we find him before she does? We have to and we will. Okay, park rangers. Operation Baby T-Rex Dino Rescue on three. One, two, three. Operation, Operation Tiny dino, dino, dino Dinosaur Rescue. rescue. It's too complicated. It was my fault. Let's go. Why the big smile, Bella? This feels like a Ridley adventure. <laughs> it sure does. Excuse me, officer, I have a quick question. Well, shoot, I love questions. Do the exhibits here ever come alive at night? <gasps> well, you might be surprised to know that that for me. Excuse me, Ranger. You didn't see something small and stripey come in this direction, did you? <laughs> Sorry, allergies. Allergies, am I right? Okay. Just checking. Okay, goodbye. We walk this way out of the museum. Right, Park Ranger Maisie? Now you're getting it, kid. The butterflies love to surf the tail. This place is incredible. That was a close one, huh? Yeah. I think I'll leave the museum adventures to Ridley Jones from now on. What about you, Dad? I look good. Come on, Ty. We're trying to watch Ridley Jones. Oh, we better find her before someone else does, or they'll know that dinos still exist! 
Oh, maybe she wasn't there. Oh yeah, maybe. Here, I can't see anything. Where'd she go? We should split up. You go that way, and I'll head this way. If you find her, you might need this. Yeah, what is it? Magnifying glass? Binoculars? Leash? A twig? It's your favorite snack. It is? Yeah. Can't see why, but okay. But I left you over there. It's a loop. A loop? Yeah, it just goes around and around. It all connects. All right, that makes sense. But where in a wide world of dino fossils are we? That's what I'm thinking. Hi, welcome to the Alchemy Museum of Paleontology. I'm Gabe, a paleontologist. Do you want me to show you around? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We want to look around with no ulterior motives whatsoever. All right, cool. So, here at the ALF Museum, we talk about the great story of life on Earth. And that story is set into many different chapters. Here in the Precambrian, life wasn't as great. It wasn't a great environment for things to appear. But during this chapter in the Paleozoic, that's when we had the big explosion of life on Earth. And some of the first characters to appear in that story are things like this. This is Isotelus rex, and it is the most complete trilobite ever discovered by scientists. Over here, we have Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon might look like a dinosaur, but it's not. It is actually an ancient distant relative of mammals like us. Dimetrodon's not a dinosaur. Would we have a T-Rex right? Shh. Did you hear that? I think so. Oh, uh, that's me clicking my, my pen. <laughs> he does that. Uh, shall we move on? Sneaker. My lamps are wide open. <gasps> wow, the age of the dinosaur. And speaking of dinosaurs, we have one right here. This is Gryposaurus. Gryposaurus is a holotype. A holotype is the first of its kind ever described by science. This one is about 75 million years old and it was found in Utah. And here's a baby Parasaurolophus. <laughs> Baby Parasaurolophus! <laughs> I haven't seen a baby Parasaurolophus. Have you seen a baby Parasaurolophus? No, never in my life. Why would you ask? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm talking about Joe, our complete baby Parasaurolophus fossil. Oh, right. That Parasaurolophus. That makes more sense. Yeah. yeah, well, Joe's really cool because Joe's crest is actually part of its nose. When it blows air through its nose, it makes a sound like a trumpet. Interesting. Okay, well, how about we check out more dinosaurs? Sure! And this here is the Tyrannosaurus rex. Its name means Tyrant Lizard King, and it was the apex predator 65 million years ago. What's really cool is that they regrew their teeth through their whole life, so they always had sharp teeth. We are very familiar with the T-Rex. Okay, well, do you want to check out my favorite era at the Cenozoic? I don't sure, to look at here. All right, come on. Any baby Parasaurolophus is hiding in here? Well, not unless they're invisible. And over here are one of my favorite fossils. This is a Bronothir. Bronothir means thunder beast, and they might look like rhinos, but they're actually a close relative. Instead of a horn like rhinos have, they have these bony plates on their nose. Pretty interesting. Um, they're kind of herbivore, but do you want to see a Cenozoic carnivore? Sure. Uh -huh. All right, let's head that way. Okay. Whoa, a giant alligator! Yeah, this is Porosaurus. 
the giant crocodile that existed in Brazil about seven million years ago. And what's really cool about it is 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 that they had these sharp teeth that they regrew through their whole life. Andy, cut it out! Not a good time. Uh, 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 you might yeah, wander the museum on our own. It's very really interesting, sure. but we'd like to go check out some yeah. stuff on our own. Thank you so much. Yes. Of. Whoa, look at all these exhibits! Oh, man, if there's a place for her to sneak around, this is a good place to do it. Yeah. A lot of places for, to hide. Good for her. Bad for us. Oh, that's true. Okay. Here, baby dino! Here, baby dino! Baby, baby! If I was a baby parasaurolophus, where would I be? It's only a skeleton of a bear dog. They're nearly seven feet long with sharp wolf-like teeth. They're carnivores and they have a bear-shaped body and claws. Well, that's very terrifying. Did you hear that? Yeah, I think that's our baby dino. Came from over there. I'll go first. Go ahead. In a dino pig. What a mess! Someone or some dino has been rummaging through here. Oh, we're never gonna find her! Parker and Randy, let's think about this. How do you catch a dinosaur named Sneeka? By being sneakier than Sneeka is. Right you are, Parker and Andy. And what did we just learn about Parasaurolophus? Their crests are actually long noses capable of making different sounds depending on how they're shaped. So what if instead of chasing her, we called Sneeka to us? By using the noise that she would make. Exactly! Whoa! No, 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 not you using the Paris or all of his sound boxes! I mean, I guess we could do that too. Yeah. Three, two, one. Here you go, Sneaka. Here you go. Sneak up on and have some of this delicious stick. So, do you have any questions about our Parasaurolophus sandbox? Uh, I don't think so. Seems to work perfectly as intended. Get you a bigger stick. Whoa. Uh, well, that was hot. Are you okay, Park Ranger Asher? Yeah. Well, where are we? This doesn't look like the ocean. No, but. Oh, wait a minute. I think I see water over there. Hmm. I don't think so, Park Ranger Andy. It's probably just a mirage. Oh, a mirage? You know I do not speak the French. A mirage is an optical illusion caused by atmospheric conditions, like extreme heat. Oh, sounds like magic to me. You mean like this magical tooth that just transported us into the desert from T-Rex Ranch? Where have you taken us? I can answer that question. Hi. Who are you? I was just asking you the same thing. Hi, Park Ranger Andy. And this is my associate, Park Ranger Asher. Well, hello, Andy. Hello, Asher. My name is Rob, and you're in a magical place called Shark Tooth Hill. Aww. Shark Tooth Hill? We were trying to get to the ocean. That's true. But if sharks are here, that means the oceans can't be too far, right? Well, that's both right and wrong. Um, the ocean's miles away from here now. 
But we were once 800 feet below the ocean, and now we're at 800 feet above the ocean, and we are standing on an ancient seafloor. That's really cool. So maybe you can help us identify this shark tooth we found. It's way too big to be modern shark tooth, right? That's correct. Well, I think I know what this is, but I think you would be better off going down to the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History. Down there, they'll be able to identify that properly. Oh, we'll go down there right now. Thank you, Rob. Well, you're welcome, but where is your car? I didn't see you drive up here. Would you believe a magical shark to transport us here? No. Hmm. Well, then I suggest you turn around. Okay. Okay, Magical Shark Tooth, please transport us to the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History. Whoa! about this magical tooth is a very convenient way to travel you can say that again let's go inside yeah let's say that again Welcome to the Buena Vista Museum of Natural History. My name is Travis, I'm a docent here, which means I can actually take you around and show you the fossils that we have. That'd be great, a friend of ours recommended that we come here check it out, so that's why we're here. Also, we found this shark tooth that we think might be from an ancient shark, and we heard that you might be able to help us learn more about it. Well, you've definitely come to the right place. We have one of the largest collections of Miocene fossils from this area, including a large collection of shark's teeth. How about I show you guys around? Yes! What do you do at T-Rex Ranch? Oh, we're park rangers. Park rangers? Well, what kind of animals do you have? Well, would you believe me if I told you it was a secret dinosaur sanctuary? Uh, no. Then I will mention it. All right, how about you guys follow me? Welcome to the Dinosaur Hall. I want to show you some of my favorite exhibits around here. You guys ready to go? Yeah. All right. Hey, look, the Ketakoala's got to be the oldest dinosaur I've ever seen. Yeah. Its bones are wood. Let's go learn something. Let's go. So do you know what this is? Yeah, that's a Mosasaur, right? Yeah, correct. A lot of people think that this is a dinosaur, but actually it's related to animals uh, like lizards and snakes. Uh, one of its closest living relatives is actually the Komodo dragon. Uh, let's actually take a look at the skull right here, and I can show you guys how it's related. Um, if you look at the side of the bottom jaw right there, there's a hinge joint, and that actually allows the mosasaur to open its mouth wider to engulf uh, bigger prey. And just like uh, some snakes, in the back of the jaw, you can actually see a second row of teeth. This is the same one that was in Jurassic World? Yes, this is actually about an average size for a mosasaur, which could be about 30 to 40 feet. But I can show you an animal that gets just as large as the animals that are in those movies. All right, let's go see it. So this is actually the femur of one of the largest dinosaurs that ever existed. Now the femur bone is actually the bone in your leg that connects from your hip down to your knee. And just by looking at this bone right here, you can see how big this animal was. Of an animal called Argentinosaurus. He was actually one of the largest dinosaurs that ever lived. He could grow up to about 93 tons. It's way bigger than me. Yeah, it's way bigger than me too. So I have one more thing to show you guys. All right, All right come with me. No, I'm here, damn, I would love a bone that size. 
All right, so what we have here is the skull of a Triceratops, and this one is actually a cast. Now a cast is an exact replica of the original fossil. We don't want to put the original fossils on display because they are fragile and over time could probably fall apart. Did you know what the Triceratops skin looked like? Well, we actually know that. Uh, there's fossil impressions of the skin, specifically of the back, showing these large bony scales that have an attachment point for a quill, just like in a feather. Oh, so this is basically one giant chicken. Well, not entirely. Those feathers were not actually feathers. Think of more like a porcupine quill. Oh, that's worse. And if you look at the skull right here, you can see these deep grooves and impressions in the back of the frill. Now, these are where the blood vessels would have been. It's been theorized that Triceratops may have actually had a covering of keratin along its frill, which is the same stuff that your fingernails are made out of. And using that keratin with the blood vessels underneath, if it were threatened by a T-Rex, he could flush his face full of blood, making himself a brighter color and thereby intimidating the dinosaur. Uh, the horns may have been able to do that as well, as they were also covered in keratin, making them much larger in real life. We can actually tell the age of the animal based on the horns as well. We know that when Triceratops was a hatchling, the horns faced backwards, but as they matured into adults, they begin to rotate forwards. So how old do we think this Triceratops was? This one may have been a teenager. And how long do they usually live? Uh, well, for Triceratops, that's probably unknown, but based on other dinosaurs, we see that other dinosaurs can live up to 30 years. All right, would you guys like to see another Ceratopsian? Yeah. All right, then come with me. And here we have the entire cast skeleton, uh, not just the skull, the entire skeleton of a Chasmosaurus. A Chasmosaurus was a Ceratopsian dinosaur, which was a horned dinosaur, just like Triceratops. But Chasmosaurus lived much earlier than Triceratops. But as you can see, his frill seems much larger than what we were seeing on the Triceratops. And the name Chasmosaurus actually means opening lizard. And it comes from these big, huge openings in the skull right there. Now, you see his frill is a little bit larger than Triceratops, and so we believe that he may have had patterns like giant eyes on top of his frill right here to make himself look bigger if he was attacked by a predator. So we do actually have an augmented reality sandbox. Would you guys like to see that? Yeah! All right, then come with me. Dog, oh, no. There's a velociraptor behind us. No! <laughs> All right, so this is our augmented reality sandbox, and it can actually show you the formation of the Sierra Nevadas just outside of Sharkstooth Hill, where you guys were this morning. So imagine, if you will, that this is the ocean where Sharkstooth would have been at. 80 million years ago, during the time of the dinosaurs, during the Cretaceous period, a fault actually would have subducted below the North American plate and pushed up the Sierra Nevada mountain ranges uh, with the heat of magma. So they were actually a volcanic mountain range. And we can actually illustrate a volcano by using this augmented reality machine. So we could build a volcano with the sand? Yes, you can. <sighs> oh, I don't have time to wait for a volcano eruption like this. It could be half a million years. Let's move on. All right, so the fossils that we have here from Shark's Tooth Hill actually date back to 15 million years ago during the Miocene period. And if you take a look at this painting, this is what we think Shark's Tooth Hill may have actually looked like at that time. So this area was all underwater millions of years ago? That's correct. And if you let me see your shark's tooth, maybe I can see which uh, shark it belonged to. All right, park rangers, what I believe that you have here is the tooth of an ancient megalodon shark. Of course. It was one of the largest sharks to ever exist. It grew up to 52 feet in length, and it could swallow an animal the size of a modern day orca within five bites. And it wasn't just uh, megalodon that we had here. We had a numerous amount of different sharks that lived here, such as the extinct hooktooth mako, the giant mako, and even megamouth sharks. Wow, thanks for teaching us more about our shark tooth. It's hard to believe that it belonged to the biggest shark who ever lived. It's my pleasure, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Oh, you will for sure. Absolutely. Thanks. Oh, 
Oh, wow, that was fun, huh? I'm excited to have solved the Megalodon Tooth mystery. Me too, but I'm hungry, so maybe you should head back to T-Rex Ranch for some lunch. Yeah, T-Rex Ranch. Magical too. Take us to the best nearby pizza joint. T-Rex Ranch. Uh, hoping that was gonna work. Hi, Bob the Praying Mantis. What you doing today? Hanging like usual? Yeah. I better go get back to Dino Patrol. Bye, Bob. See you later. Come here, baby T-Rex. You out here anywhere? Hmm. Here we go. Come in, Park Ranger Aaron. Who big Park Ranger will be? Yeah, go ahead, Park Ranger will be. I found a pack of, of Patasauruses. Oh, cool. Where are you anyway? I'm by the lake. Okay, well, I'm over here at the park making sure that baby T-Rex isn't on the loose. You know, it's gonna scare somebody away. So how about you come on back over here and we'll meet up, okay? Okay. Cool, 10-4. All right, Park Ranger will be found some Apatosauruses, that's cool. T-Rex went this way. Okay, baby T-Rex, you're around here. Come on, baby T-Rex. Okay, straight that way. but I better dig it up with my shovel. Let's go through this. Three, two, one. Okay, there we go. What is this? Yeah. Flap it like that. What was that? Thought I heard a dinosaur out there somewhere. Man. It's scary out here in these woods. Scoop that in. Whoa! Oh, cool. This is a bone. That might mean maybe it's a dinosaur bone. Whoa. Come in, Park Ranger Aaron! Yeah, go ahead, Park Ranger OB. I found a bone! You found a bone? Is it a dinosaur bone? I don't know, I think so. You gotta get here right now! Oh, cool, man, this sounds awesome. I can't believe you found a bone. I'll be right there, we'll check it out, okay? Okay. Park Ranger OB found a dinosaur bone. Mm, I think it's that way. Okay, I'll go this way. Okay, Park Ranger B, where is it? Where is it? Where's the bone? The bone. Oh. oh, yeah, it's heavy. Hey oh. oh, wow, oh, look that's at that really bone. Heavy. <laughs> I think you hit the mother load. Yeah. This is a real bone. I think this is a dinosaur bone. It's probably from a new species, like a huge, big, scary dinosaur. Yeah. No, I thought it was like an old species. You know, I see these in the museum all the time. No, 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 no. It's a brand new species. We're gonna make headlines with this species we discovered, you know? Nah, I think it's still an old one, you know? Okay. Well, you know what? I know who can tell us. Who? Okay, I know this paleontologist. He's named Nate, and he's out in Los Angeles in California. He'll be able to examine it and tell us what kind of dinosaur it is. Yeah! Okay, cool. I still think it's an old species, though. No, I know it's new. I'll challenge you to prove that this is from a new species, okay? Okay! We just gotta get on a plane and go to California. Okay, let's go! Yeah, we gotta go to California to get him to look at it. No, I thought we were doing a meet and greet in at Jurassic Quest in Dallas. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I forgot about that. Hey, you know what? We just hop on a plane, pop over to California, get him to look at the bone, come back in time for the meet and greet. Yeah! All right, let's get out of here, let's go to California. Hey, park rangers, if you'd like to come see us in Dallas for our meet and greet at Jurassic Quest, get your parents to go check out our Facebook page. We'll be in Dallas December 7th, 2019. Hope to see you there. Come on, park ranger, let's go to California. Whoa, look, park ranger B. 
It's the dueling dinosaurs. Yeah, the dueling dinosaurs. Okay, so we're here at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. We're gonna learn all about dinosaurs down in Antar in the Antarctic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna meet up with Nate. He's a paleontologist. He discovered his own species of dinosaurs. Not really his. Now it's for the whole world. Okay. Okay. It's so cool. All right. I think the exhibit's this way. Okay. Come on, let's go. Okay, get your roar. Hmm. Hey, what are you doing over here, man? Oh, I'm just comparing the bone. No, this is not like the bone we found. I'm telling you, it's a new species, okay? He's gonna be so excited. Just check this yeah, out. Yeah, right. Whoa, we're going through a portal. Hey, I think this is Antarctica here. Antarctica? Yeah, maybe we can find some bones around here. Oh, hey, maybe this. No, the bone isn't that big. It's not that bone right there. Really? It's a new bone. I'm telling you, it's a new species. Are these power tools? Awesome, man. Who knew they had power tools Whoa. down in Antarctica, huh? Oh, hey, How's it going? Hey. Hey, it's Nate Smith. Hey. He's the paleontologist I was telling you about. Yeah. Welcome to the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. Thanks, Nate, for having us out to learn all about the new species of dinosaurs that you found, right? Yeah, it looks like you guys are getting geared up to hunt some Antarctic dinosaurs yeah. right now. This is heavy equipment, so you've got to be wearing the right gear. Let me get you right some of these. Here. Oh, boots. These are some of the mountaineering boots we wear in Antarctica. You want to try them on? These actually went to Antarctica? Yeah, so I wore these on our expedition in 2003 and also 2010. Well, so you, you can, can try fit those in on there, there Park Ranger LB. Oh, yeah, they fit. Oh, yeah. All okay. right. Now you're nice and toasty. So, what is this? A jackhammer? So, this is one of our electric jackhammers. Yeah. Jackhammer, okay. Just give you that a try. You grab hold and there. push it forward, you can fire it up. There you go. Oh, Feel that? Cool. <laughs> well, don't forget your earmuffs. Oh, yeah, my earbuds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need this. Whoa. Awesome. Oh, Pretty that's cool, so huh? Cool. Okay, so what else you got over? Oh, I see more. Well, over here we've got some of the sledgehammers we use and even the rock saw. This is kind of a, a large concrete saw that we'll use to cut blocks. Does this one fire up too? Yeah, this one you kind of slide forward and back. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Here, you give that a try and I'll make the noise, okay? <laughs> okay, all right. But you don't use this for the actual, like, down when you get down to the fossils, right? This would be too bright. This is just to collect the, the dinosaurs, but once we've got the fossils back in the lab, we use real specialized tools. Oh, okay. Is that what this is over here? Yeah, so here you can see a little air scribe. This is almost like what you might find in a dentist's office. Oh, is yeah, this... you can peer through and see how we actually prepare fossils with that tool. Oh, yeah. Awesome, okay. Which way to the exhibit, huh? Well, let's go this way. So now we're going to see what Antarctica was like before the age of dinosaurs. Cool. So there's dinosaurs in Antarctica? There's dinosaurs yeah. in Antarctica and there's animals even older than dinosaurs in Antarctica, like Whoa. Lystrosaurus or Thranaxodon. So you know where Antarctica is, right? Yeah, it's down. Yeah, it's the South Pole, right? Yeah, south pole. Down at the South Pole. So these are what the continents look like today, right? With Antarctica over the South Pole. Oh, yeah. But several hundred million years ago, it was a very different configuration. Oh, that's right, Pangaea. So about 250 million years ago, Antarctica was connected to the other continents. Okay, so it's all one big continent, so whatever dinosaurs lived in one could move to the other, right? Yeah, exactly. These animals could move between the continents back then. So what's this big dinosaur right here? So this is a replica of Cryolobosaurus, one of the most famous dinosaurs from Antarctica. Wait, in that... And this too? This is the skeleton of Cryolobosaurus. Cryo is frozen, frozen crested lizard. In real life, this is what Cryolobosaurus probably would have looked like. Wow. So a lot of these carnivorous dinosaurs we know had feathers, and some of them even had these fine filaments like this. So these are some of our new dinosaurs from Antarctica. Okay, the sauropodomorph. Sauropodomorph. And they probably look like some dinosaurs you're familiar with, the real giant sauropods, right? Oh, yeah. Diplodocus, Apatosaurus. These are the cousins of those dinosaurs. And this one looks pretty small in particular, but that's because it's only known from a skeleton that's about four or five years old. So he's still just a baby. So is this what the Cryolophosaurus ate? Yeah, these animals might have been on the dinner menu for Cryolophosaurus. What's that? This is Kanuasaurus. So this is actually a relative of Mosasaurus. This is a, another type of Mosasaur, which is a group of marine reptiles that lived during the age of dinosaurs. Oh, and so a Mosasaurus is part of the Mosasaur group, right? Exactly. So this animal isn't a dinosaur or a fish or a shark. It's actually really? related to lizards. Also, I finally understand that now. You got it? Yeah, huh? I hey, get look. it. Because... There's penguins over here. Penguins! There were penguins back in the dinosaur era? Well, not long after the end of the age of dinosaurs, it doesn't take that long for dinosaurs to come back to Antarctica in the form of modern birds like penguins. Oh, so modern okay. birds are dinosaurs in the same way that bats are a special type of mammal. All right, another portal here. This is the last thing I wanted to show you was about all the other science that takes place in Antarctica. So we have folks like me studying glaciers. Oh. 
and actually even taking cores from the ice itself. This is a replica of one of these ice cores that comes from Antarctica. Well, hey, I think we're near the end, but we've got a really important question for you, Nate. Let's go check it out. Let's check it out. Well, Nate, that was pretty cool, the Antarctic dinosaurs you found down there at the South Pole. Man, I can't believe we actually discovered a real dinosaur now. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Okay, I think we've got something that's gonna blow your mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what's your question? Okay, yeah, check this out. Look at this bad boy right here. Oh, wow. Check out this dinosaur bone specimen. This is pretty delicate. Yeah. yeah. The preservation looks really good. It's fresh. Well, that's because we found it uh, on the banks of a lake down near T-Rex Ranch. So what do you think this is, huh? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. It, it looks bovid. Is that like a really big species? <laughs> no, no, it's a uh, boss taurus, I think. This is a new species you haven't seen before, right? <laughs> this is a cow bone for a dog. What? A dog bone. Essentially a big dog bone. Oh, man, you found a dog bone at the lake. No wonder the cats are all over it. Yeah. Okay. Well, you should take it back. I don't really do mammals. Well, Nate, hey, we appreciate your time. It's great having you both out at the Natural History Museum. Thank you very much for showing us the Antarctic Dinosaurs exhibit. It's amazing what you found. We learned a lot, didn't we? Yep. Okay, cool. You know what? I think we should go check out some of the dinosaur bones over here. There's okay. lots more to see, guys. All right. Thanks, Bye. Nate. Yeah, take Bye. care. Bye. See you later. Okay, Park Ranger OB. So we flew all the way out here to Los Angeles for the bone. And now what are we going to do that we're here, huh? Um, Legoland! Yeah, Legoland's a good idea. Yeah. Or we could... <gasps> T-Rex! What? Where's that? It's right there. It's a T-Rex. No, that's a college... No, that's a T-Rex! Get out of here! Hide behind the tree! tree. Why is there a T-Rex? Everywhere we go, there's always a T-Rex, man. We gotta figure out some way to get rid of this dinosaur. Uh, can we use a bone? Where, where are we gonna get a bone, huh? Inside? No. Mm -hmm. They'll let us have those bones in there. Wait a minute! That's the dog bone! Oh, that's right, the dog bone! Yeah. Okay, here we go. Good idea. Let's get this dog bone here. Here we go. Okay, you gonna throw it? Yeah. Okay, well, be careful out there okay. then, okay? Okay, three, two, be careful now. one! Throw it! Yeah! Oh! There he goes! T-Rex is going for it! It worked! He's gone! He took off, man! I'm out of here! Man, I just can't get over how huge this megalodon is! Yeah, it's just like... giant! It's the biggest thing I think we've ever seen underwater here, isn't yeah. it? Yeah! You've been really wild today. Yes, you have. Oh, I already have enough on my plate, you know. So you could behave yourself? Okay. Maybe if I find Park Ranger Aaron and LB, they could help. Park Ranger Aaron! Park Ranger LB! Biggest underwater sea creature we've ever seen, huh? Yeah! This is really cool, huh? Tyson! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, wow. oh hey, oh, guys! Look who it is! It's Safari Sarah and Tyson! Tyson. Hey, guys! Hey, guys. Oh, man, what is this? <laughs> Safari Sarah? How are y'all doing today? Oh, we're doing good. How about you? You excited uh, about the new exhibit? Are we? Oh, my gosh. We are so thrilled about our premiere show of Ancient Ocean! Yeah, yeah man. It's so cool. Tyson, are you excited about all these dinosaurs here? Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, Tyson's even got a play toy there, I noticed. Yeah, see, this toy has been oh. a necessity today because oh. Tyson has been a real handful, uh -oh, you guys. Uh-oh, Tyson. Oh, yes, Tyson. Yeah, I have a lot of work to do with our opening of Ancient Oceans, and this is kind of helping me distract uh, That's him. a good idea there, yeah. Tyson, you got to stay out of trouble now, Wait, okay? you guys. What if y'all watch Tyson for me so I could get my work done? Oh. Do you think that would work? Yes, yeah. yes you. Oh, wow. We're so Ooh. honored, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. You look great. You hold the toy, and I think I can hold Tyson. Okay, okay. very good okay. idea. Come on here in here, yeah. Tyson. Whoa, whoa, look out, look out. Yeah, oh, there boy. we go. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, Tyson, man, you're a big one there, huh? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Are you going to behave yourself? Oh, oh, oh. Behave. Tyson, you got to stay in control Come here, man. On. Okay. Use okay. that toy, okay, okay. LB? Oh, yeah. All right, I'll oh, see you guys Tyson. later, oh, okay. okay? Go okay. swim away now. Bye, okay. guys. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah. Okay, I got Tyson under control here. You got to figure out how to keep Tyson entertained, huh? Oh. Oh, 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 come on, Tyson. Look out. Look out. Look out. Okay, Tyson. You see all this stuff out here? Yeah, Tyson. Yeah, oh yeah, he oh, liked yeah. that, huh? Like that, Tyson. Oh, Tyson, Tyson dropped his toy! Get toy back. Tyson, quick, Park Ranger OB, get his toy back! Oh, you missed it! Tyson. No, here, here, Tyson. oh, Tyson, yeah, come on, Tyson. Tyson! Come on, Tyson, yeah. you can get the toy! There you go, there you go! Yeah, that's good, Tyson, okay. Yeah, okay. Tyson. Now, 
Just good, look, man. look, Tyson, at all the little underwater aquatic creatures here, huh? Yeah, you like that and over the there. Look. Oh, he lost his oh, door again. Oh, no, oh, oh, no, oh, 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 no, my hat. Oh, my hat. Quick, give me my hat, man. Stop give me my hat. Oh, it's not on. There we go. Okay, okay. Oh, no, you're not Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Where is it? It'll be. Okay. I need some food, man. Here, I think I see I think you see a place over here. Come on, Tyson. Let's go. Let's go over here, okay? Come on, come on. We'll put you down here. Here we go. Here we go. Put you in here, Tyson, okay? Here we go. It's a nice little bed yeah, of seaweed, huh? Yeah. yeah, there you go, Tyson. Okay. Okay, oh, just stay right there, okay? Here, yeah, let's take that off, Tyson. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. Go to sleep yeah, now, Tyson. Tyson. Okay, yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at Tyson. See, take a little. We're going to eat something. You don't go anywhere, Tyson, okay? Whoa. Okay. Bye. Woo. Tyson's a handful, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, I tell you what, I'm hungry. I think I got some snacks in here, all right? Oh, yeah. What are you in the mood for, huh? How would you like a Slim Jim, yeah. huh? You want a Slim Jim? Yeah, that's why I had to put Tyson down. Can't open up the old Slim Jim with a dinosaur in your hands, right? I'm good now, here. You can eat it later, all okay. right? All right, come on, let's go. Let's go. Tyson! Tyson? Tyson! Where's the dinosaur? Tyson! Tyson! You in here? Tyson! Tyson! Where'd you leave him? You in there, Tyson? Tyson! What are we gonna do, man? Uh, you see a dino anywhere around here? Uh-oh, Sarah's gonna be mad! I know Sarah's gonna be mad! We are in deep dino... What are we gonna do? I know, I know, I know, I know. What, what? The new dino app. Oh yeah. The dino tracker. Oh, you're okay, let's see if we can find Tyson on the dino tracker, okay? Okay. okay I know it's still in beta mode and everything, but it'll probably still work. Okay, here beta we go, mode? here we go. Uh, come on, Tyson, come where, on, are Tyson where are you, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Wait, <gasps> I see something right there. He's over by the inflatables. Let's go. Come on, let's go to the inflatables. Okay, 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 okay. This is the inflatables. This is where it showed the little blip on the radar and the app, but it's gone. I don't see the blip now. You see Tyson anywhere? Wait a minute. Maybe he's in there. Why do you think Tyson's in there? Because it's a bounce house. What? No. Bounce house. Help me, man. Tyson, where are you? Dude. Hey. Tyson, where you in here? Be? I don't think Tyson's in here. Tyson? Huh. I'm coming, Tyson. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. He's not here, man. Okay, oh. we gotta get going. Not my hat. Okay, where Green Joe be? Hey, come on. All right, I got the app. Uh. Let's see if we can spot Tyson on the app there. Okay, here we go, here we go. There! Right there! Find the T-Rex! Get your shoes, let's go! Hey, look, Park Ranger B. It's the main entrance to Jurassic Quest, okay? Yeah. I'm sure T-Rex is just right in here. We're gonna find Tyson, okay? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, look, Ugh. it's T-Rex. T-Rex. Okay, let's see if we can find Tyson here okay, somewhere. Tyson. Tyson. Tyson? Tyson? You're around here, Tyson. Tyson? Wait, Tyson, are you in there? You're in there, Tyson. Open up, T-Rex to Tyson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyson, come Tyson. out. Tyson, come I think I see him. Where? Where's the Spinosaurus? The Spinosaurus? Yeah, let's go. Look. Okay. Spinosaurus. Oh, look. It's Spinosaurus, man. Okay. This thing's huge, isn't it? Okay. All right, you said you saw Tyson over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyson, where Tyson. are you, Tyson? Tyson, where are you, man? Oh, no. Oh, it's Tyson's toy. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, Tyson was here. Do you see him in here anywhere? Okay, let's see. Tyson. Safari Sarah's going to be back any minute. We're going to be really in the biggest trouble ever. Hold on. I know. Silly me, man. The Dino Tracker app, okay? <sighs> There. The dino rides. Yeah, the dinosaur Quick, rides. Quick, let's get there before he takes off again. Come on, dude. Okay, okay, okay. All right. These are the dino rides. This is where the blip was, okay? Okay. All right, uh, you want to see if you can go on this one? Okay. I don't see Tyson around here. Maybe I can spot him from up there. Yeah, maybe if you get on that ride, you can look out and you'll see Tyson hanging out here okay. somewhere. Okay, Park Ranger B, do you see anything up there? Not yet. Man, where'd that dinosaur go? Uh, We're in trouble. I think I see something by the gift shop. Come on, man, let's go find it. Okay. Park Ranger B, this is the gift shop. Let's split up and see if we can find Tyson, okay? Yeah. You go that way, go this way. Oh, ooh. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, a backpack. Yeah, that's cool. Come on, Tyson. Ooh, look. It's a megalodon. Ooh. Wow. 
Oh, yeah. Tyson, you over here? Oh, man. Come on out, Tyson. You're going to get me in real trouble with Safari Sarah, Tyson. <laughs> Park Ranger with me. Did you find him? Did you find Tyson anywhere? No. No? Wait a minute. What's this? It's like an inflatable T-Rex? Yeah, I got this at the gift shop with my own money. You got an inflatable T- Hey, wait a minute. Oh, yes. Yeah. Backpack! It's a Megalodon backpack? Yeah. Oh man, how much stuff did you get? Dude, we don't have time for this. We gotta get back over to the Ancient Oceans exhibit because it's about to open in any minute. No. Safari Sarah's gonna be there and we're gonna have to explain to her how we oh. lost Tyson. This is like the worst thing ever, okay? Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Man, what are we gonna do? I know, what are we gonna do? You see Safari oh, Sarah anywhere? Man. No. She's right there. She is right there. Oh, she's coming this way. Dude, no. what are we going to do? I wonder where Tyson is. Uh, I don't have a Tyson, where's, do you? Where's, I don't have a Tyson either. Oh, you just got this. You think, you think she'll think this is Tyson, maybe? We can use this. Huh? Tyson! It is Tyson. Right there by the Quetzalcoatlus. Yeah. All right, awesome. He's with Park Ranger Aaron and LB. I wonder where they're at. Oh, but Sarah's coming. Here, what are we going to do? How are we going to get Tyson without Sarah spotting us? Huh? No, I don't. I do with this here. What? Leave it to me. Leave it to you? What yeah. do you have a plan? Mm -hmm. Okay, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna distract her. Oh, okay. How are you gonna distract her? Don't worry, I got this. Okay, well she's almost here. Quick, you go meet her. I'll go get Tyson. Let's go. Oh! There they are! Hey LB! Oh! oh hey Safari hey, Sarah! Uh, how do you like Bob here? Yeah, Bob! Oh, is this your T-Rex? Yeah, it's Bob, yeah. Oh, uh, where's my T-Rex? Uh, here, you can have Bob. I can have yeah. Bob. Okay, yeah. well, when did you get oh, Bob? Come here. Well, Tyson! Got him at the come here, Tyson! Oh, here. Cool. You can okay, also but what about Tyson? You can oh, also what have is this? Oh, that's cool. Is yeah. that a megalodon? Oh, yeah, this is oh, a megalodon. Oh, that's topical. That's awesome. Oh, do you want the Slim Jim? Oh, I, I like love Slim Jim. Slim Jim. You never eat Slim Jims, is I'm going to get you, Tyson. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where's Tyson, actually, right now? Yeah, he's with Parker. Come here, Tyson! Hey, do you want to oh, I got man. a I missed him. <laughs> that is really... Oh, uh, my gosh, okay. and his mouth opens. That's Ooh. Yeah. just like Ooh. Tyson. There's Tyson right That's there. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so Park Ranger Aaron has him. Yes. Okay, so he's safe. Yeah. Come here, Tyson. Like 100%. Oh, man, I missed him again. Oh, and by the way, what's this type of dinosaur? Well, it's a carnivore. Um, a carnivore. Tyson. Um... Let's okay, see. Tyson. Uh, I got you, Tyson. Is Here it I come. An Albertosaurus? Here I come. I don't know. I'm asking you. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's an Albertosaurus. Let's say that. Okay, Definitely. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm an expert, totally. I just want to be positive. One more time. Y'all have Tyson still, right? Yes. Okay, because it seems like y'all are trying to distract me or something. No, it's not like Park Ranger is behind okay, you okay, trying okay, to look for Tyson okay. and we lost Tyson. No, no, no. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no? Okay. I mean, I trust you guys. Y'all are park rangers. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm hey, so see. glad you have them safe and warm. You've been with them, yeah. having fun yeah. all day. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. You want to take Tyson back? Yeah, of Here, course. Here, can you take these things? You can okay, have Tyson okay. back. Hey, boy. Oh, there we go. You're such a good boy. Hey, honey. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, that was awesome, wasn't it? Put yeah. me hanging out with Tyson all day. Yeah, okay. you seem like you really enjoyed it, Tyson. Oh, yeah, no problem at all, all right? Yeah. Okay. Well, good. All right, yeah. we're going to go get ready for the launch of okay. Ancient Oceans, okay? Well, we'll see you all later. Okay, bye, Tyson. Bye. Come on, Bob. Hey, Park oh. Ranger OB, man. We finally made it yeah. to the brand new Ancient Oceans exhibit at Jurassic Quest. Cool, let's go check it out, man. Let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the size of this ammonite, man. Yeah, the ammonite's it's, huge. It is huge. It's got all these moving tentacles. They're going to get yeah. you. <laughs> so awesome. Hey. Hey, I hear you and me. I think that is you and me. Let's go check it out. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, look. See, look, it's a screen that's giving us information. But you know yeah. who's in there? Who? It's Park Ranger Aaron and Park Ranger OB. See, there's me. Oh, yeah, there's you. It's Park Ranger me. <laughs> we teamed up with Jurassic Quest to make the adventure videos as the virtual host of the new Ancient Oceans exhibit, huh? Cool. How cool is that? So as we work our way through the exhibit, Park Ranger Aaron and Park Ranger OB helps us go through, huh? Yeah. Cool. Let's keep going and check out the rest of the undersea creatures here. By me. By me. Whoa. Whoa. Look at, ooh, look at that mean looking piranha fish looking thing there. And look how real looking the movement is on this, huh? Oh, look at 
a snack is like here. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. very realistic, isn't it? I think that's a plesiosaurus, but I'm not sure what that one is. Maybe we should ask ourselves. Oh, Whoa, cool. Look, it's man. an archelon. Giant ancient sea turtle, huh? Yeah. As big as this is, this doesn't even compare to the megalodon. Yeah. Man, check out this. Oh, it's moving there. Cool. <laughs> it's like a giant prehistoric shark. You know, like the T-Rex of fishes yeah. or whatever, or sharks. Hey, let's go around the side and see how big this thing is, okay? Oh, oh look, its mouth is opening up. Like big, huge, Arr, it's gonna yeah. eat you. Okay, oh, and look, there its fins are flapping. Oh, Man, yeah. this thing is ginormous. Look at the tail yeah. back there. I can't believe how big this thing is. This is like the biggest underwater sea creature we've ever seen, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. What is that? Why can't we see anything? That's not your hot dinosaur breath, is it, Bella? Forty-nine minutes earlier. I am Asher, the amazing. For my first trick, I'm gonna make my assistant disappear. Are you ready? Parasaurolophus alakazam. Now you see him. Now you don't. Is that supposed to happen? You all see him too, right? It didn't work. But it was a great effort. And a high degree of difficulty. The guy at the magic shop said I can make things disappear. I guess it doesn't work on dinos. Maybe you just need more practice. Because practice makes... Pancakes! Or so I've heard. Sure. Practice makes pancakes too. Mm. Now I want pancakes. Sorry to disappoint. Maybe another time? Not to upstage Asher, but I also have something amazing to show everybody outside. Join me. Aren't you coming? Not right now. I'm gonna put my assistant in the pen and start practicing my act. Got it. Well, I look forward to seeing your magic act later. Okay, are you ready? Drum roll, please. Thank you, that was very impressive. Behold. The new and improved T-Rex one! Ooh. Ah. Just look at that dino green paint job. Slithery scales and ferocious fangs. Designed to intimidate even the fiercest of predators. But that's not all. Inside, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and cup holders. You had me in cup holders. I've also mounted the Dino Freeze Ray with onboard Invisispecs. Amazing. And now, the piece de resistance. A T-Rex Ranch air freshener. Is that pizza smell? You got it. Because who needs pine scent when you work in a forest? Mmm, pizza! And I almost forgot. One last thing. The new horn sounds like a T-Rex! What? Abracadabra, make this bird disappear! Please? Maybe you can find some inspiration at the Dino Master's gadget closet. Good idea! Ooh. Invisibility cloak? Okay, this time I, the amazing Asher, will make myself disappear. Ali Shady, Ali Kazam, make myself disappear as fast as you can. 
Disappear! Box, box, I called it. Shh. Holy surprise, the source, he did it. <laughs> wow. Ta-da! How did you do that? I practice. So I don't suppose you know anything about this invisibility cloak? Okay, I use the invisibility cloak. But isn't it cool? We can sneak around predators. Mm, they would hear us and smell us. Asher, great power comes great- Pancakes! Responsibility. Point is, I don't think you're ready for that cloak. None of us are. Bella, can you please put it away? Dino alert! Yeah, a rogue raptor snuck into Herbivore Valley. Yes! I mean, oh no! I'm just so excited to take the upgraded T-Rex 1 out for a spin! Wanna be my co-pilot? Yes, please. Sam, Asher, I'll put this away, then we'll check the electric fence to see if it's intact and operational. Not only that, the back seat folds into a bed for midday naps. Oh, and I was gonna install a soda machine, but I, I ran Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Stop here. I think we're close. Dino alert. Yeah, sure seems like it. There it is. And it's scaring that poor Stego. Hang on. I'll show that raptor something really scary. Ear goggles up, please. Ear goggles? Cover your ears. It worked! It's running away! Yeah, but it's headed toward HQ. Then so are we. Go for Orson. Rogue Raptor headed your way. Repeat, Rogue Raptor headed your way. Copy that. Asher, I need you to run back to HQ and get the Dino Freeze Ray. On it. Company's coming. Hmm, it's not here. Take it from here. Out! Is that Asher? Woohoo, over here! You old scamp, it is you! Just an angry, invisible raptor on the loose. Mondays, right? Use the T-Rex when we'll draw the raptor away. <gasps> Great idea. But how do we stop a dino we can't see? But we can see him. I'll use the invisible specs to reveal the raptor, then zap him with the freeze ray. I like your style, Park Ranger. I have my moments. Do you see 
see him? I see him. Thanks for saving our lives. But you know what I'm gonna say next. Now for my newest trick. I'm gonna make this coin disappear. Neko Haney Hey, make the coin go away. New coin! <laughs> 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 See, that was highly entertaining, and you didn't need the invisibility cloak to do it. Hey, remember when Asher made that raptor disappear? That was awesome. That wasn't a trick. Oh. Then what was it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, what a day. There's uh, triceratops. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I. Oh, warm, warm. Ooh. Hey, little fridge repairer. Do your best. <sighs> Should have bought a watch. Take it forever. Are you done yet? Oh, poor little fridge is not working. Sorry, little guy. There's gotta be a way I can get a frosty beverage and fast. <gasps> the Dino Freeze Ray. I mean, that's it. If I can freeze a whole dino, then surely I can freeze a cup of pop. <laughs> Hold on to your kids. Park Ranger Andy. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Uh. Well, all right. I was trying to cool down a couple cans of Triceratops using the Dino Freeze Ray gun. The fridge went Now get behind me. I don't want to turn it into a park ranger popsicle. You ready? Whoa. Well, it works. You froze them back to the ice age. Hmm. Maybe the setting's too high. It's a triceratops. You won't believe what I just saw. A nest of eggs. Oh. That is a mystery egg, isn't it? Yeah, so white and small, but also narrow, like a rectangle. Where did you find this mystery nest of eggs? In a muddy, grassy area. So the question is, what type of egg is this? I don't say this very often, but I have no idea. Hmm. But I know someone who might know. Park Ranger Andy here. Help has arrived. Hey, Andy! Mike, Leslie from Reptile Zoo, thank you so much for coming. Park Ranger AJ and I are so happy to have you here. Well, we're glad to be here. We heard you had a little bit of a mystery and we brought some reptiles to help you guys out. Why don't we bring them in? Perfect, thanks. Hey, Andy. How's it going? Good, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for inviting us. Why don't I introduce you to Rocky, one of my big birdies, Python. Hi, Rocky. Hi, Rocky. 
That's a, that's a really big Burmese python. Yes, sir, he is. And the thing is, he's still growing, too. He weighs about 150 pounds, and he's 13 feet long. But man, he's only gonna get bigger. How old is he? He's about eight years. He'll live up to 20 or so, and then he'll get 20 feet and 300 pounds. You won't be able to carry him then. Oh, my poor back. He likes to, uh, he likes to be petted? Yeah, yeah, he's friendly. You want me to put him down with you guys and pet him? Sure. Yeah, AJ wants to pet him. So, uh, Mike, we have questions. The reason we called you is we had to talk to you about some, uh, uh about some eggs. Yeah, go ahead. What do you, what do you got for me? Well, we assume, we know that, uh, reptiles, they lay eggs. That is true. We'd like to know more about it. Well, these guys can lay about 60 or 70 eggs at a time. And, uh, when they lay their eggs, they don't make a, a nest out of, like, the dirt or anything. They just kind of lay their eggs all in a bunch, and they wrap themselves around it. Yeah. That way it protects them from predators. Who are those little guys? Those are some baby pythons. Hard to believe that Rocky here started out that big. That guy started out that size? Mm-hmm. He was a puny noodle. And when do they start laying eggs? Well, they're not adults yet. It's going to take a few years. Three, four tops. Hey, AJ, look, a crocogator. Well, you're about half right. These are American alligators. This one's Davy, and the little one is Goose. Hi, Goose. Hi, Davy. Thanks for joining us. Wow, Davy's looking right at me. He can look almost 360 degrees, so it's kind of looking at all of us, actually. That's so cool. He looks like a Spinosaurus. Yeah, right? He's got a long, toothy mouth like one. Oh, yeah, but a Spinosaurus gets to be 60 feet long. How big will Davy grow to be? Well, not quite that big, but still pretty big, about 15 feet long. Can I hold him before he gets too long? <laughs> sure, this is the perfect size. Just tuck your right arm over the tail and back under his body like you're hugging him. Bring that same hand up under his belly and your other hand under his chest. I'll keep my hand here too. Cool! Oh, what do you think, AJ? You got a new friend. Yeah! So tell us about the eggs. Well, they can lay a lot of eggs, about 50 at a time. And uh, what's neat about it is the females actually are very particular about where they lay them. They want to take them up above the edge of the water so they don't get flooded. They dig a hole, lay their eggs in there, and then bury it with a bunch of rotting plants so it acts as an incubator. So they build their nests underground. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's good to know. It's good to know. Keep that in mind. All right, here's our next one. He looks like a giant pickle with eyes. <laughs> he kind of feels like one, too. This is Jabba. He's an African bullfrog. He does look like Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, he could have been his stunt double, too. <laughs> wow, he's big. How much does he weigh? All right, now he's about two and a half to three pounds, but they can get over four pounds. They're one of the largest frogs in the world. Can I hold him? Sure. He's a bit wet, though. Oh, how come he's not jumping? Well, jumping is something they can do, just not very well. Kind of a waste of energy for these big, heavy frogs. So they mostly crawl or sit in one spot. Oh, do you like to hang out in water? They sure do. They're very fond of ponds, but where they live is dry for much of the year. So instead, they fill that big body up with water, bury themselves and sleep for the, that part of the year until the rains come back. He's uh, going to give AJ warts? Nah, if I haven't gotten warts by now, I don't think anyone will. I hold him all the time. <laughs> I don't know, but he doesn't look much like a dinosaur to me. Not quite, but amphibians are pretty old as a family. How old? Millions and millions of years, like the dinosaurs and even some modern day reptiles. So would they have been around during dinosaur times? Maybe not quite as we know them today, but yeah, there were some amphibians at the time of the dinosaurs. Tell us about how they lay eggs. Well, the way he lays eggs is very different from the animals we've seen so far. The thing is, they actually spawn rather than breed. So much like a fish, they lay their eggs first, then they fertilize them. Interesting. So you said he and he lays the eggs. Well, he wouldn't, the girls would, but then he'll fertilize them afterwards. Fair enough. Yeah, hold him. I'm okay. 
So these are getting smaller and smaller. And cuter. Look at this little one. It's like four inches <laughs> long. So these are a couple of our crested geckos. This is Kiki, and that's Charlie. Can I hold Kiki? Sure you can. You can let her do all the work. She's got sticky toes. Now, why are they called crested geckos? They've got these rows of scales that go around the sides of their head like spikes, but they're really soft. They even go over the eyes and give them the other name, eyelash gecko. Wow. Now, how big can these get? Well, Kiki here is a full-grown adult, and then Charlie here is a hatchling. So, the eggs that Kiki would lay would be how big? They're only about that big, but unlike a lot of other reptiles that have a lot of eggs, Kiki would only have two at a time. It's good to wow. know. Looks like Kiki, uh, looks like he wants to eat me. <laughs> uh, probably not, but since you are the tallest thing next to her and she's a tree climber, she might want to climb on you. It's okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> so how big are the eggs that Kiki would lay? Well, with these geckos, the eggs that they make are only about this big. And unlike a lot of reptiles that lay a lot of eggs all at once, geckos only lay two at a time. Is it you? Are you our mystery egg layer? I don't know. Anything's possible, huh? Coming through. Look at this guy. And there we go. Whoa. Ah. Who is this? Well, this is Tank. And this is known as an Aldabra tortoise. Wow. Well, his shell definitely seems tough as a tank. It is pretty well armored. Now, how old is this guy? Uh, this size, he uh, may only be about 10 to 20 years, but he could live over 200. Two, is that one of the oldest living creatures? These are one of the oldest living animals alive today. That's amazing. Now, it's not a turtle, it's a tortoise. Correct. What's Turtles are more kind of a water goer, where these guys, they like dry land. Okay, so now the important question, what about the eggs? Well, the, these animals, when they lay their eggs, they'll lay their eggs in a hole and bury them, and they can have about a hundred of them at a time. They're about the same size and shape as a golf ball or a ping pong ball. A hundred of me? hundred? Golf ball shaved eggs. Mm -hmm. All right, good to know. Mike, thank you so much for everything. Thanks for coming by. Andy, of course, it was a pleasure. Thanks for calling me up. Yeah, we hope you come again. It was so much fun and informative and we learned so much. We have no more questions whatsoever. Bye. So what kind of egg is this? I'm not sure, there were so many reptiles. I know, now what do we do? Let's take a step back and look at the facts. A step back. Okay, here's what we know. Burmese python, alligator, tortoise, pixie frog, and crested gecko. Mystery egg picture, please. Ooh, you. Okay, hold on. Hi, <laughs> guys. And just leave that. There we go. All right. Now, which one of these animals has similar shaped eggs? Well, the python? Does have a similar shaped nest than eggs. The tortoise? Also has a similar shaped nest than eggs, but they build their nest underground. As does the alligator. Hmm. So that leaves... <gasps> Sneak eggs! Yes! We better leave them alone and let them hatch. Park Ranger AJ? You figured it out! And for that, you get the... Excellent Examiner Achievement Badge! Cool! This is a rare badge! You know what? Let's celebrate with some Triceratops! You ready? Cheers! Mine's still frozen. Yeah, mine is too. Back to the drawing board? Yeah. Okay, you'll get it this time. You just watch. Okay, Rexy, circle, circle. You did it! Good job, Rexy, here's a treat. See, they're food oriented. 
just like me. Pretty cool, but uh, how long have you been in here? Uh, I'm not really sure. What day is it? Yeah, you should probably go take a break. I'll watch the baby dinos. Oh, if that's a good idea. I mean, they've been really mischievous lately, and that's why I've been trying to train them. But, okay, you can watch them, but just promise me that they'll take a nap soon, okay? No problem. And I'll just use my new gadget, the Dino Walkie Talkie. And instead of just imitating people, it can imitate dinosaurs. Let me see. Oh, man. I must have left it at the lookout. No problem. Don't you worry about it for one second, Park Ranger Asher. One Dino Maki Taki rescue mission coming right up. Now, you guys be good for Park Ranger Asher, okay? And don't you forget that lunchtime is nap time. Copy that, Park Ranger. Copy that? Lunchtime is nap time. Wow, that's very impressive. I should give Park Ranger Andy an achievement badge for his hard work. Wait, Brachiosaurus, Triceratops, T-Rex. Oh no, the baby bear Sorophis is missing! Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Park Ranger Asher was right. I do feel better with the sun on my face and nothing to worry about. Certainly not those baby dinos, who I know are safe and sound. If I was a baby pierce office, where would I be? Hey, who threw that? Very mischievous. Maki Taki Mission Achievement. Park Ranger Asher, this is Park Ranger Andy. Come on in. Copy, I'm here. You okay? Sure. Just playing with the baby dinos. I mean, putting them to bed. Oh, good. Well, I have great news. I have found the Dino Maki Taki. That is great news. Thank you. You're not coming back yet, though, right? Take all the time you need. Hey, you know what? I do deserve a little break. All right, I am going to take some time. Park Ranger Andy, over and out. Ah. Well, let's see here. How does this thing work? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is fun. <laughs> Can't get into trouble with this. I'm a dinosaur! Rawr! Two down, two to go. Gotcha! Three down, one baby Parasaurophus to go. Oh no! It's a dollar! When I get back, I'm gonna make sure those baby dinos get more fresh air and exercise. Too much time inside Dino H2 can make someone go a little <laughs> crazy. <gasps> oh, hello there. Wait a minute, I thought you were taking on that. Hey, I guess not. Stay sleepy, little guys. I've got to find Baby Pear before Park Ranger Andy gets back. And that is my impression of a pteranodon on the terrace. Huh. All right, well, fine. I'll give it a five out of ten myself. But 
If you want to hear something really cool, listen to this. This is Park Ranger Asher's newest gadget, which perfectly imitates any dinosaur. <laughs> Was that my stomach or yours? I don't know if that's my stomach. Do I want to look? Here, baby barrel. I got your favorite treat. Popcorn. Whoa. I had your favorite treat. Oh no! Park Ranger Andy! Oh! 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 Good thing I'm the Stegosaurus because the Park Ranger Asher's catches. Oh! I should have been the T Rex out and scared your way! Oh. Hey, wait a minute. That gives me an idea. I have an idea. Here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Science saved me again. Where'd my little buddy go? There you are. What are you doing here? Oh, um, looking for her. Sorry, Park Ranger Andy. I tried my best, but she snuck away when I wasn't looking. Well, that's okay. Like I said, they can be pretty mischievous. Luckily, they can also get tuckered out easily, too. Oh, Mom, it's as good as me. <laughs> Let's go home. Oh, you're so cute, aren't you? Park Ranger Andy, because you did such a good job training baby dinos, I would like to give you the terrific trainer badge. No way! This is awesome! This is awesome! You know, I've never actually gotten an achievement badge before. Maybe it's the first of many. Yeah, well, maybe I'm gonna get an achievement badge for finally getting my achievement badge. Do they have those? <gasps> How about this? I get a badge for coming with the idea of giving out achievement badges for giving out an achievement badge. Yeah. <sighs> oh, maybe I get an achievement badge for going to sleep. I can do that. <laughs> Oh. Who am I kidding? I can't sleep. I'm too excited. Maybe I'll play with the baby dinos. Where are the baby dinos? What's your favorite dinosaur to feed? Well, I like the Stegosaurus because it's so gentle and it eats the veggies right out of your hand. Yeah. Well, how about your least favorite dinosaur to feed? Oh, I've got to say the raptors. They look at you with those claws like your dinner. Yeah, and I feel like if they ate you, they would burp after. Rude and scary. Mm. That's why I brought us here to the Ojai Raptors. Oh, raptors? It's okay, it's okay. We're going to learn. We're going to learn about raptors today and we're going to learn maybe how to take care of them. But when we go back to T-Rex Ranch. Okay. All right? Yeah. It's fine. Let's go. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, Park Ranger Andy. Hi. This is Park Ranger AJ. 
day. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you both. I'm Jacqueline from the Ojai Raptor Center. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're a wildlife rehabilitation facility specialize in wildlife, but raptors specifically. And we take in about a thousand injured, sick, and orphan raptors a year. And as wildlife rehabilitators, our main goal is to make them well again and release them back to the wild where they belong. Back into the wild? All those raptors? Out in the wild? Uh, um, yeah, birds of prey. Oh, oh right! right. Birds. birds! Of course you're of talking course. about birds, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. We know you're not talking about dinosaurs. Yeah, That'd be ridiculous no if you're talking about dinosaurs. You can't yeah. release them out in the wild. They'd have to be in like a ranch or something. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't exist though, right? Right. So yeah, we consider owls, hawks, falcons, eagles, and vultures here. We consider all of those birds to be raptors. So actually, we're getting into our busiest season here in all of wildlife rehabilitation, where we receive lots of babies that have been separated from their parents. Usually their nests have been destroyed, and they need to be raised by people in captivity. But we have to make sure that they maintain their natural fear of humans in order for them to be successful once we release them back to the wild. So we have to make sure they don't become too comfortable with humans or see humans as their friends or anything. So we cover our features, we disguise ourselves, and we feed them actually with a fake owl so they never get too used to humans. Do you guys want to help me feed the orphans? Yeah, yeah. I love playing dress up. Okay, here are your suits. So you're going to put these on because again, these are not pets, these are wild animals, and we have to make sure that the baby owls don't get used to seeing people. So we're going to put these on to disguise our features, and then we're going to go feed the baby owls little pieces of food because they're too young to eat by themselves. Okay. This will be easy peasy. Yeah. Okay, Ranger AJ, you look like you're all set. You got your G-Lay suit on. Yes. Ready to go inside the hospital and feed? Yeah. Okay, we have to make sure that we're very, very quiet when we go inside the hospital, okay? Yeah. Okay, ready? Let's go. I'll be right behind you. And I'll be really quiet. So some of our birds are unfortunately not releasable to the wild and we train them to become ambassadors for their species. So would you like to meet some of our non-releasable ambassador raptors? I would love to. I'd love to see yeah. something. I can't see anything. Hi, AJ. Hi, Andy. Hi. I'm Kimberly here with our ambassador brewing, Al Topper. Hi, Topper. Hi, Topper. Baby? No, actually, he's full grown. He's about seven years old. As with dinosaurs, raptors come in all shapes and sizes. And as a matter of fact, about half of the owls in North America are small owls, like topper or even smaller. His eyes just pierce right through your soul. I know, his eyes are pretty amazing, right? All raptor eyes are pretty amazing. Amazing. I've never seen that color yellow on an eye before. And actually, some of the things in his eyes are related to why we have Topper. What do you mean? So, well, with all of our ambassadors, they can't survive in the wild. That's why they live with us as ambassadors. And Topper came to us after having a head injury, and he has some damage to his eyes as well. That's why he can't survive in the wild. So he's a Owl? Yes, he is. What does that mean? Well, although we think of most birds and most owls living mostly in the sky or up high in trees, these guys spend most of their life on the ground and they actually nest underground. Although these guys are a predator like other raptors, the small raptors are both predator and prey. So basically anything big enough to hunt him, including other raptors, will hunt them. They're also endangered by dogs, feral cats, raccoons, and snakes. So they actually have a super cool way to help protect themselves from predators. When they're feeling threatened or when the babies are in the burrow and feel threatened, they actually make a sound like a rattlesnake. And that wards off most predators. And for the babies, it makes their parents come back home to protect them. 
So if there's a fight between the owl and a rattlesnake, who's gonna win? Well, that's a tough call. A burrowing owl couldn't actually fight off a rattlesnake the way that a red-tailed hawk or a great horned owl could catch one, but they might be able to ward it off with their snake sounds and otherwise just um, do something that's called mobbing when they fly at a potential predator to just scare it off. Are they friendly with other owls of their same kind? That's a great question. I think it. So because many of their hosts live in colonies, burrowing owls tend to also be colonial. So they can nest just with one pair, but in the past they've actually had populations of thousands of burrowing owls in one place because we had such huge colonies of prairie dogs. Is it true owls can spin their heads all the way around? Well, they can't quite spin their heads 360 degrees all the way around. However, owls and other raptors can look completely over their shoulder. So Topper can turn his head um, from looking straight at you all the way to looking over his shoulder. It's about 140 degrees. Well, Topper's getting a little tired, so I need to take him home. But Jacqueline is ready to introduce you to another of our super cool ambassador raptors. I think you're going to love it. Well, I'll be glad to see it. So what's the owl thing? Who? The owl. Who? I'm asking about the owl. Who? <sighs> the owl says who? Says what? Who? What? Who? I don't get it. Good job. This is Rosie, and she is our non-releasable red-tailed hawk ambassador. Why did you guys name her Rosie? That's a good question. So we named Rosie Rosie because her beautiful red tail, that red-tailed hawks, which is her species, what they're known for. A little side note for you, red-tailed hawks don't actually get their red tail until they're about two years old or just before, once they become mature. So if you see a juvenile red-tailed hawk, they'll have a brown and tan striped tail. You know I named my bathtub Rosie. Why'd you name your bathtub Rosie? Well, every time I don't clean it, I get a ring around the Rosie. We've had Rosie for 17 years. She came to us when she was only one years old, so she was a juvenile with a broken wing in her right wing, actually, in her shoulder. She can't fly well enough to be released to the wild, so that's why we have her. I think there's some confusion about velociraptors and raptors. Raptors are birds of prey. So it's a group of different birds that are predators and they're hunters and they have sharp hooked beaks and claw-like talons that allow them to hunt and eat other animals. So here at the Raptor Center, we consider hawks, falcons, eagles, owls, and vultures all to be raptors. So they lay eggs like dinosaurs? Yes, exactly. They lay eggs just like dinosaurs. Velociraptors are dinosaurs that were really small and fast that lived between 70 and 90 million years ago. And when paleontologists discovered their fossils for the first time in about the 1920s, they named them velociraptors, which that word actually translates to fast birds of prey, because anatomically or structurally, they're really similar to modern birds of prey, specifically that sharp hooked talon that velociraptors had in their hind foot. But velociraptors were always dinosaurs and raptors were always birds of prey. All birds have actually evolved from dinosaurs. So during the Cretaceous period, this is when most dinosaurs went extinct, there was a very small number of avian dinosaurs, basically bird-like dinosaurs of the theropod group of dinosaurs. So actually T-Rex was in this group, but only the small theropods survived into the almost 11,000 species of birds that we have on our planet today. Did they evolve from meat-eating dinosaurs? Yes, they did. Velociraptors were meat-eating predators like modern-day birds of prey. So he only eats meat. These birds only eat meat. They cannot process anything else. So they are only able to digest raw meat. No veggies. Bird after my own heart. Right. No veggies. They must be similar to dinosaurs in other ways then. Some dinosaurs supposedly had feathers. Yes. Velociraptors and theropods definitely had feathers, and they're starting to think that perhaps all dinosaurs had feathers, as a matter of fact, although none of them actually use them to fly. Like chickens. Exactly. Well, chickens can fly a little bit. Yeah, chickens can fly if they need to. Penguins. Like penguins, exactly. Yes, to keep them warm, but not really for the function of flight. So they have hollow bones like the Allosaurus. That's a very good question, yes. So really all flighted birds have hollow bones. So larger birds that don't fly and even smaller birds like penguins, 
Birds that don't fly have fused bones that are filled with marrow and blood just like ours, but all birds that fly have hollow or pneumatic bones, and their dinosaur ancestors did as well. So thanks so much for coming today. I hope you guys learned something new. We, we learned, learned so, much. so much. Thank you for having us. Thanks. Was that a rattlesnake? Or a burrowing owl? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. Well, if we are, we're using your legs. My legs? It's not fair. Goodbye, thanks a lot. <laughs> Five years ago. Mmm, man. Nothing like a sandwich break after patching up the laser fences, huh? Hey, where's your sandwich, Dan? Not hungry, but I do have something to show you. Cool mask. What's it do? Oh, nothing much. Just grants the wearer the power to control the mind of any dinosaur they want. Sounds kind of dangerous. Not to mention a little far-fetched. Are you sure it works? Of course. All my inventions work. Okay, lunchtime's over. Oh wait, let me try my device first. No can do, park ranger. We gotta drive fast, right now. Come on, Dan, we'll try it out later. After that, the Dino Master left the ranch and he's been plotting his revenge ever since. All because you didn't let him wear his Dino Master mask? Like, 85% sure. I can't believe it's been five years to the day. A lot of knocks on the door of our secret dinosaur sanctuary lately. And everyone who knows about T-Rex Ranch is in this room. All except one. Who's that? The Dino Master. <gasps> Dino Master? Me? No. I'm Judo Master. Like a martial artist? No, no, just Judo Master. You clearly have me confused with my twin brother, Dan. Wait, back up. So the Dino Master's real name is Dan. Oh, Master. Yes, it's Irish. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I realize it's a it's a humorous name. Okay, Jude. Let's say you really are the Dino Master's twin brother. Why are you here? To share a message on Dan's behalf. There's no hard feelings with the way you treated him. I'm sorry. The way we treated him? Well, surely you remember how it all went down. Dan had brought his favorite sandwich to lunch. Limburger cheese with burnt tomatoes and anchovies. Gotta go, Maisie. But then, it was stolen right out from under his useless nose. He tragically lost his sense of smell child. Dan never thought his fellow park rangers would steal his beloved sandwich. Ooh, smelly. But still, they did. Hey, Dan, where's your sandwich? <laughs> Not hungry. <laughs> So the Dino Master became an evil villain bent on destroying T-Rex Ranch because of a sandwich? Well, when you say it like that, it sounds kind of dramatic, but yes. Anywho, after five years, all he wants is an apology. To show that there's no hard feelings, he offers this gift. Whoa, cool cube. What does it do? 
Stan said you would know. Bet I can figure it out. I was built by the Dynamaster, after all. Still under warranty. How about you two take the mystery box outside and report back? We'll stay here with Jude. Okay. What should we do first? Press, Press the, the button. button! Wait, what if something bad happens? Like, what if it's a fart box? Ew, what's that? It's a box that makes farts. Aren't you a fart box, Asher? <laughs> okay, let's press it together. But don't say I didn't warn you. <sighs> let's point at stuff and see what happens. Good idea. Look, I know sometimes it can be hard to apologize, but in all fairness, you did eat his sandwich. I will admit to the sandwich theft. But it was a mistake. And what about all of the awful things that he did to us? Uh, oh, we've all had our little oopsies in the past, right? You who, Arexa, please tell us all the times the Dino Master carried out an evil scheme here at T-Rex Ranch. My pleasure. Starting alphabetically with A. Aardvark army attack. Ant infestation. Appetite accelerant for velociraptors. Aquarium water in the cooler. Shall I continue? Good for now. Thanks. Okay. Tell me this, weren't some of these schemes in the name of science and discovery? I mean, sure. Those were some very organized aardvarks. I have a question. Can you prove that you're not the Dino Master? Of course. I'll just call him up. No. Ask him to come here. Sure, why not? Triceratops test in three, two, one. Ha! It is a fart box! Let's do it again! Well, maybe it's a coincidence. season. Maybe it's a gift. Let's follow her and find out. Hey, I brought a sandwich platter. One of those is my favorite. Limburger cheese with anchovies and burnt tomato slices. So don't eat it. Hmm. Hello, brother. We're seeing you here. Sorry you had to come all this way, Dan. They didn't believe me. Still don't, in fact. You mind taking off that mask so we know it's really you under there? <laughs> really? I even brought finger sandwiches, not even made out of real fingers, which I could have easily done. <laughs> Fine. <gasps> Told you. Great, now let's hear each other out. Can you see? Dino Master, Dan, I'm sorry I ate your sandwich five years ago. I didn't realize it was yours, but I should have asked. Thank you, Macy. Dino Master? Okay, fine. And I'm sorry I slightly overreacted into becoming an evil supervillain. Proud of you, twin bro. Great. Now let's shake on it and call a truce. Now, for friends of T-Rex Ranch only, how would you like to meet our new baby dinos? Oh, well, it's about time. I, I, I mean, sure, sounds well. Hey, it's the mystery box. The button is the same color as the eggs. That's probably why the mama Tranodon took the box. Quick. Grab it before she gets back. Sam, look! There's a door! And an egg inside! <gasps> Here goes nothing. 
Detecting Pteranodon Egg. We did it! We solved the mystery of the mystery box. <laughs> Gotta go. Get in there, Jude. Well, that's all right. There'll be plenty of time for that later. I got to hand it to you, Dan. These sandwiches are delicious. Wait, which one did you have? Hmm, tastes like Limburger cheese, burnt tomatoes, and anchovies. Oh, no. Not again. Not again! Yeah, all that nicey nice juice business was all just the front so you can steal my sandwich again. Unbelievable. But they weren't even labeled. That's what the chow team is for. The what? Hey guys, we just found out that... What? What's the Dino Master doing here? Ugh, they'll explain later. Cube, please. Sandwich, please. Detecting Limburger cheese, burnt tomato slices, pumpernickel. Huh! Cool gadget! I know it is! The chow chamber is a brilliant invention and now it's tainted forever! Sorry, Jude. We'll have to come back another time and steal our baby dino. I'm disgusted by the sight of these sound stealers. You haven't seen the last of the dino master. <laughs> nice to meet you all. Burnt tomato really complements the smelly cheese. Yeah, Ugh. gross. I know, right? Whee! Hey, Park Ranger. What's all this? Park Ranger Asher, come check it out. I found this trunk in a basement filled with all these interesting knickknacks. Like this old dusty notebook. <coughs> <coughs> Too bad there's no way we would ever know who it would belong to. This notebook belongs to Park Ranger Andy. Oh, wait, Park Ranger Andy? But that's me. I don't remember ever owning that notebook or any of this stuff. <gasps> I bet it belonged to the very first T-Rex Ranch Park Ranger. My great, great, great grandpa Andy. Wow. You must have been pretty great. Yeah, it was okay. Oh, look. He wrote a letter to Future Park Rangers. <gasps> That's us. Dear Future Park Rangers, I am writing from the year 1862, where I have just buried what I am calling a time capsule somewhere in T-Rex Ranch. This time capsule contains one very important item that can only be used by park rangers. In order to find it, I have devised what I am calling a scavenger hunt with clues that will lead you to the capsule and all the wonder contained therein. Good luck and happy hunting. Wow! 1862, that's almost... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. 160 years ago. 160 years? That's almost a million! Hmm. I wonder if the time capsule's still there. Well, there is only one way to find out. Scavenger hunt! Backpacks? She yeah. Shovels? She yeah. Dino freeze ray? Uh, dino freeze ray? We're just going on a full little scavenger hunt, no? Well, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Good point. Go to the place where the winged dinos sleep and try not to make a peep. Hmm. 
Most titles weren't classified back in Grandpa Annie's age. Tyrannodon? Maybe. Or the Tannosaurids. Their name means winged lizard. That's some good thinking, Park Ranger. I hope I'm as smart as you when I grow up. Now let's go find us a time capsule. Wait. You need to drive. Oh, okay. You say so. Well, looks like we found a Patinosaurus. This is this is this. So now what? I mean, if only we had some kind of marker. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, what do you know? It's time to start digging. <gasps> I had something already. Oh, oh. this is good. Oh, got it. Oh, this is pretty simple. Look at it. I think I got something. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, pieces here. Oh, wow. Don't make me beg. Go to the place where the spiny lizards lay their eggs. Well, we know what that means. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course we do. You don't know, do you? I do, I do. Spikes on the Let's just go. I knew it. I think you mean X marks the spot. Uh, that's what I said. Just be careful, because if a Spinosaur sees us, we're goners. So we're going to have to move very slowly. Very slowly. Got it. Okay, not that slowly. Okay. Ah! Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think I found something. Nice work, Park Ranger. Oh. Faster. Hang on, Baldy. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got something. I got something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Park Ranger Annie does it again. Are you sure you read the third clue correctly? Go where the running lizard hunt for food and hope against hope that they're in a good mood. That's a wrap for right? But what do we do now? I don't know. Great, great, great grandpa Andy was great at many things, but my includes was not one of them. <gasps> Wait a minute. Look, where the raptors were. There it is. Grab the shovels. Ooh, here goes nothing. <laughs> oh, that second thought, why don't we just go back to Dino Headquarters where it's, you know, safe and quiet? I mean, after all, I don't need no dusty old time capsule, do you? Well, it's not about the time capsule anymore. Because if we don't complete the mission, then who will? You know what? You're right. And when you're right, you're right. And you're always right. Right? Let's do it. Oh, things are looking up. Yeah. Ah, oh. <laughs> I got you now. Hey, where are you going? Told 
ya. Huh. You did good, Park Ranger. You did good. Okie dokie, here we go. What to do? The time capsule is located 200 paces beyond Dino HQ. Oh, are you kidding? After everything we went through today, it was right behind Dino headquarters the entire time? Oh. I'm beginning to think your great, great, great grandpa was in all that great. You could say that again. After all, how many times today were we put in hands way? I think it's harm's way. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's hands way. After all, pigs are very brave. What? 196, 197, 198, 199, 200. Shovel, please. Dig, dig, faster. Dig, dig, keep digging. Found it. Help me, help me. Oh. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what'd we find? What'd we find? It looks like a dino remote control. What would you do? 1862, present day. <gasps> I think it's a time machine. Wait a minute. What if it's not? What if it's something really, really bad, like something that drops a brachiosaurus down from the sky on us or something? This is a time machine. Huh. Nope. Well, proceed. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Gold diggity, where am I? Oh, hello, handsome. You look awfully familiar. Well, I should. I'm your great, great, great grandson, Andy. And this is my associate, Park Ranger Asher. A pleasure to meet you. That must mean you discovered my time machine. We sure did. Oh, well, I'm glad to see that it still works. May I take a look, see? <gasps> Not bad for an antique, eh? I built this time machine in order to bring dinosaurs from the past and study them in our present. And that is how T-Rex Ranch began. We had no idea. But we have so much to talk about. Yeah, and you should come see all the new gadgets we've invented. I would be delighted. Uh, uh, I'm going to take what I'd like to call a rain check. Gotta go. They left us with all kinds of questions. Oh, You know what? He left me with a brand new hat, too. A brand new old hat. Let's look. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Bye, Jimmy Jank. That was close. Oh! Ah! 